All right, this is a tutorial on how to use the Vive Orbit trackers. So when you open up the Vive Hub, you get that download. You'll have option to use Vive Ultimate Trackers right here. And this is what it should look like once you first start it up. You won't have any of the trackers paired, but you'll have the little dongle plugged into your PC, and it will tell you if it's if it is plugged in or not. You've got a few different settings. You don't really need to mess with any of those. What you first want to do is click pair new and you want to follow the instructions here so you just turn on your tracker as such hold the power button for two seconds and if you look down the blue LED should be start uh, blinking and then it'll automatically pair gotta give it a second and when it does the blue slow blink, it's in um, sleep mode, essentially. So you have to hold the power button for two more seconds to get it into the rapid blue flashing, and that's the pairing mode. And you can do that with the rest of your trackers. The base kit comes with three different trackers. So you can just do that with each individual one. And I already have my space calibrated, so it's going to say ready on these trackers. So... It won't say that for you since you won't have the space calibrated. It's just pair the rest of your trackers while you're in your menu here. Make sure it's doing the quick flashing blue. And it should turn to a green light once it is paired and you'll see it in this little menu here. There we go. I've got all my trackers set up. And again, you won't see any of the trackers floating in your play space since you won't have your map set up yet. So we'll go over doing that. You have to click start setup right here so you can see you can see all your trackers here usually it'll say like you know lost tracking or something like that since you won't have your space kind of what you got to do is click start setup and i recommend having your viewer headset on and clicking onto the desktop so it'll be a lot easier to pair because it's going to ask you to start scanning your room and so you're usually gonna have to like look over at your computer monitor if you don't have your headset on so just recommend having your headset on so you can just like look around. And you're just gonna read the instructions. Got some nice infographics here. Just gotta wait for it. Essentially, you just wanna put it into the center of your play space, facing your computer, wherever it is. So click start, you know, create tracking map. And then you want to look for the um, tracker that is blinking green, rapidly flashing. And it would be this one right here that is not correctly in space, but <laughs> we haven't got to that part yet. Um, so click it up, pick it up, and then click that button there. And then you want to hold the tracker still while facing your computer. Just wherever your computer is in the space. And then you want to hold the tracker at chest height, facing the computer. And then click the button. All right, so it'll start by doing the low angle scan. So basically you just kneel down and it'll automatically detect when you're doing that. You just bring your screen down and then you just start moving around your tracker. around every different area and then you want to turn when it says to turn essentially and make sure you're not obscuring any of the cameras with your hands it's usually good to have one free hand that you're holding the tracker on and then your controller in your other hand It's pretty simple. And make sure your space is just nice and well lit. You just want to turn all your lights on essentially in your room. And you're going to want to do this if you happen to change something in your space or just, you know, during initial setup. So if you like, you know, change something with your wall, something big, not usually anything minor. <clears throat> and then the next part is it wants you to do a high angle scan. So you just hold that outward and start scanning every part of your room this usually takes about like you know i would say five minutes it's not very long and as of the state 
October 9th. Um, the trackers are officially out of beta. At least for um, using them for different headsets. Because I, I use the Quest 3. So I have to go through this process of scanning my room through this little software here. It'll automatically detect when you turn right, and at the end, it should give you a little um, infographic of your room, just a little little model, and it'll tell you if you haven't like scanned a part properly, if you need to like remap it, and if you don't happen to, if something says fair or poor, you can go over and point at that spot and then start scanning it again. Just make sure if it if it does say fair or poor, make sure it's well lit. And, you know, there's enough variation where it can, like, actually place mar markers onto the wall, you know, and whatnot. And make sure you haven't blocked any of the cameras, if you have any issues. And then what it's going to want you to do is um, calibrate your tracker with your controllers. So here, you know, I see my trackers are down there. And that's because they're not calibrated in relation to my headset or my controllers. So what you want to do is you want to hold one of your, um, one of your ultimate trackers into one of your hands with control, be left control or right control, it doesn't matter. And then you want to click, make sure you're not blocking into the cameras and then click the little power button here. And then you want to start doing like figure eights. And it doesn't matter if you like rotate like this or if you just hold it up. And they're properly tracked in space, as you can see it is, um, you can actually see it here in relation to my controllers, it's properly, like, you can hear it, like, banging together. <laughs> it, was just, it is kind of cool. Um, so you just want to attach this to your track straps, you got your track belt, you got your two little ankle track straps here, and then click done. And then you're good to go, usually you just want to do the space calibrator every time you hop on VR, like, every time you like having to log off the headset and you need to you know recalibrate these into space and i've seen setups of people like for you know vive 3.0s where they actually have a tracker on top of their headset so they can like not have to do that calibration which is interesting definitely an interesting thing because usually the if you have a vive headset you won't have to do that whole process of calibration since it already knows where your headset is in like 3D space. So, and what you can do next is you know just launch any game you're gonna play. Like the only game I really use these for is a uh, VR chat. So we're just gonna test it out. Usually, when you join a game, you're gonna have to like just like calibrate in that game specifically. Like you know, for VR chat, you have to calibrate for whatever model you have. Like you know, just to do, do a T pose and real life all right here we are in vr chat so basically what you want to do is you want to open your menu by clicking the b button on quest controllers or the wire button both of them will open them up just like the top buttons on your controllers anyway you would click calibrate full body tracking and then hold out your arms and make sure your, the dots are like lined up into the legs and then you would click that and then you got your full body tracking working um, if you happen to be in the ground or like high up, you can actually change your height settings, which is pretty important. It does you know all the calculations through that? So once you get your height put in there, um, you, you can just like tinker with it a little bit just to make sure you're actually like touching the ground. Because if I get like I can turn on the normal mirror and see, I'm actually touching the ground. Sometimes you'll be in the ground if you put in your real life height. So you just kind of like, like mess with it to make sure you got your the right settings. You don't want to be floating, you don't want to be like in the ground. And it also depends on like what set is your ground level in VR. Because you know on the Quest headsets, so you gotta like lean down when you're setting up your space and like touch the ground. Sometimes that'll wobble a little bit, so you can just like fix it if there happens to be any issues. But yeah. It works pretty well. Um for um the Quest 3, there's like upper body tracking, which um you can actually use to track your elbows. Which is pretty cool. Um, downside is you can only do it through virtual desktop since somehow the data has to go over to your PC. Um, so virtual desktop has options where you can actually get your arms to 
track like that. The, as you can see, when I open up the whole Steam menu, you can see these little trackers that are like, they're emulated. I don't actually have trackers on my arms. These are just emulated trackers through Virtual Desktop. And all Quest 3s have this. You can always enable this um, just as long as you get Virtual Desktop, which is like $25 as of right now. But hey, I mean, it's better than spending like $400 on two more Vive trackers. Like Vive Ultimate trackers at least. Like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> but these, these are pretty serviceable. I mean, once you get to like a certain point, it's not going to track very well. But like, hey, free tracking, essentially. But yeah, it's it's pretty serviceable if um sometimes your trackers will go out if they can't like if you can't if they can't like see, you know, if the cameras are obscured. Like if you crouch down, your clothing will sometimes like obscure the trackers, so you'll like it'll stop tracking like that. See? So sometimes adjusting the belts, you know, the track belts is uh worthwhile. Maybe wearing clothing that doesn't like isn't gonna obscure once you crouch down like you know shorts or something i don't know it doesn't really matter and if you have any issues with like them actually tracking like if it happens to be jetted out into space for some reason even if you try to calibrate it and like one tracker is just jettisoned out into space for some reason you can just like turn it off for like a couple minutes or so and then turn it back on it should be actually relative to where you've calibrated so it will actually like not jettison into space it's a little confusing i don't know why it does that Hopefully it doesn't doesn't do that in the future, but um, yeah, I've only had that happen once, which was really annoying because I had no idea you could just like turn it off for a few minutes. Because if I, I turned it off for a few seconds and like try to turn it back on, and it didn't do anything. Like it would, it would just return back to the way off into space. Weird weirdness, but um, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty cool. If you ever want to calibrate your trackers, you just go back to the calibrate full body tracking and then do the process all over again. It's really simple. Usually if you change it into different any avatar, you can just do that and it will work. Oh, wow, okay. 